So guys, today I'm doing a tag video, a response to a tag video that's tagged by Joe at Feral Woodcraft. Uh, he just tagged a whole bunch of people and pretty much anyone that wanted to participate. But this was originally done by Cool Kid Survival and I watched both channels and I really like both of them. Talk so my favorite uh, today is Optical Bushcraft and Survival Knives. So without any further ado, let's get started. My name is Lee. Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite bushcraft tactical and survival knives. Now I know it was traditionally from Cool Kid just uh, tactical and bushcraft knives, but I decided to throw survival in there because that's what Joe went with. But this knife you guys are looking at, I've shown this a lot here of late, so I'm not going to talk much about it, but this was one of Joe's picks and it is my pick truthfully because it is my top bushcraft knife. I really do love this knife. For those who are still unfamiliar with it, it is the Bark River Knives Bushcrafter. Uh, this knife is a fantastic bushcrafting knife. I really have not found a bushcrafting knife to be better than this one in particular. Uh, so that is why it's my top bushcrafting knife. That and the sheath design is really awesome. You can carry a very large ferro rod on the side of it like this one. And so overall, this uh, the Bark River Knives Bushcrafter is my top pick. to my top tactical pick and I picked this one for a couple reasons. This is the actual tactical knife I carry when I carry a tactical knife because I don't know about you guys but I am kind of into fitness and sports and when you play things like basketball and other things like that you cannot have a gun on you like it just makes absolutely no sense and you really can't incorporate a gun onto you and there's a few other areas especially like I said when you're doing fitness and workout related stuff like when you're doing running that it just makes absolutely no sense to have a gun on you but I still want some kind of self-defense option and this is it and this in particular is the pull force November one it is a very awesome, in my opinion, very awesome tactical knife. It makes a lot of sense and it really works for me. You know, this might be a knife that's a little bit too expensive for some people's taste. And, you know, be it what you will, uh, it's totally up to you. But this is one of my favorite uh, top tactical knife picks just because, one, I have it, and two, I really love its ergonomic setups. It's a great knife for defensive work. And uh, for me, it personally works very well. Under the shirt very well, because I carry this as a neck knife. So that's another reason why you don't see me pull out some like gigantic tactical knife uh, or some kind of like miniature sword. I do carry this as a neck knife and uh, for defensive situations. So it works really well for my setups. And uh, that's why it's my top tactical pick is because it's also my real life top tactical pick. The survival. So survival for me is kind of like a mixture between like not very tactical or not super tactical, but it's also not super bushcrafty either. For me, like survival in my mind is kind of like the middle grounds, the in between a survival and bushcraft knife. And for me, that pick would go to the Topps Fieldcraft. This is a knife I've used for a lot of years and still really love it. For me, this middle of the grounds kind of bushcraft survival knife is the Topps Fieldcraft. I've had this knife for quite a few years now, I think around three. Yeah, three for sure. Going on, I think maybe four. Uh, but anyways, however long I've had it, I've had it for quite some time now and uh, I've really, really enjoyed this knife. It has been fantastic for me, and like I said, I think this really fits the bill for a survival knife because it's very thick, it's very beefy, but as well, it still has a very good uh, bush crafting grind to it. It has a very nice and large handle, and it's actually even pretty still tactical for a knife. I mean, as far as uh, tactical features that you would want in a knife, this is a lot better than the Bark River Knives Bushcrafter. So it definitely is my choice for top survival knife. It's just an awesome knife. I've really beat the heck out of this thing and treated it with no remorse. I remember the last time I really used it, my friend and I, we were peeling birch off of uh, birch trees or birch bark off of birch trees. And my friend just like was chucking it into the dirt, you know, just like no regards. And it just took it like a champ. Uh, I am a little bit more rough with this knife than others, but that's just because I've had it for a very long time. And I know absolutely that it can take whatever I'm going to throw at it. 
So anyways, that's my top choice for a survival knife. Like I said, I think it really bridges the gap between a straight bushcraft knife and a straight tactical knife. I think it really is a good uh, in-betweener. So that is a quick look at my top three choices. This is a little bit hard because a lot like Joe, I have quite a few knives and I really like quite a few knives, but these are the knives that I honestly use the most and are the most realistic for each of these applications in my personal collection. I also want to do a shout out to two other channels and that is Drop Forge Survival, a for really like craft and tactical especially, and then Wingman115. I'd love to see what those two have and uh, I'd love to see what you guys got. And for anyone else that wants to do this video, definitely uh, do it and put your link to your video in the comment section below so that we can all see it. And uh, that way you can all still participate. But those in particular that I'm really shouting out are Drop Forge Survival and uh, Wingman115. The links to all the channels, uh, both Joe and uh, Cool Kid Survival and DFS and Wingman 115 will be down in my description below. If you want to check out any of those four channels, I would highly encourage it because uh, they're all pretty awesome YouTubers for now, and I'm out.